Hey guys, welcome to the fourth Let's Play for Dragon Age. Woo! I'm pretty excited. We are to Marmalade Alert level two. He's trying to climb on my lap. And a Jello Alert of one, and that's because Jello just left for work. And, and the situation here is, shall we say, dire. Well, I guess not really dire. It looks like it's dire because there are big things opening through the world. I'm loving the game so far. This is a pretty exciting game. Let's climb it on up. Got my beautiful person I'm playing, surrounded by beautiful people. The tunnel should be just ahead. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Part of an old mining complex. These mountains are full of such paths. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough. We shall see, guys. I'm pretty excited about this game, actually. I'm really loving it. Um, I know I've already blown through three Let's Plays and haven't gotten very far, and I'm just enjoying every second. I hope you guys are, too. We will also be doing The Witcher 3 when it comes out in a month and a half. I am so stoked for that game, too. wonder if we'll end up be doing them side by side. That might be interesting. All right. I'm not seeing anything else I need to worry about. Don't. Not detecting anything. Uh-oh. We see a bad guy in there. Are you guys coming? What are you doing? Come on. Hello. Let's go take care of this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's a, oh, I guess that's, I guess that's, first, oh, you get first person view? Really? That's interesting. That is an interesting view. I hadn't even considered that as an option. Is that new? I don't recall them doing that before. All right, let's go loot. Oh yeah, it's looting time. I love, okay, so I don't have to really search. It's not like, not like Assassin's Creed where I have to good kneel over every single person. You'll be able to see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything down here I need? Okay, do we have maps? I don't think that any of the maps will work, but let's take a look at a map, guys. Whoa. Did not want to go into combat mode. Oh, I guess we have a, we have a character update. So, let's look at the new one. There's Cassandra. Justina. Ooh, I guess it's High Chancellor Roderick. Is that the only one? We have a lot of people to talk about. So we have Cassandra. Oh, okay, so let's read these up really quick. I know this is going slow, but I like it. Hi, Chancellor Roderick. There are some who claim men have no place in the Chantry, beyond the lowest rank of scholarly brothers and those who take their place amongst Templars. It is not true. This is an organization spanning seven nations, from the smallest village Chantry to the Grand Cathedral in Valroyo. It takes more than sermons to keep it alive. There's an invisible army at work ensuring meals are delivered, repairs are made, faithful attended to, and much of it done by Chantry brothers like myself. The position of High Chancellor places a man beside the Most Holy. I control who's permitted audience, handle her correspondence, deliver her word to Thetis, and serve as her advisors on matters which may be mundane but cannot be disregarded. If I have influence, let it be said that it is something I use sparingly, if at all. There is a task which I devote myself with solemnity and I... and. I and my fellows bear a burden so that others may be free to guide the spirits of Thetis unencumbered. Excerpt from a letter by Han Ch High Chancellor Roderick, Asignon, the year 938 of the Dragon. Okay, we also have Varric and Cassandra, so let's read those up, because you know what, that's how I roll. Cassandra. Oh, this is Solas. Cassandra, I understand our first order business must be to investigate the bizarre breach in the sky and protect people from the demons descending. While my search continues, I wish to draw your attention to a new arrival at our camp, an elven apostate calling himself Solas. Solas entered the camp voluntarily, surrendering his staff to Chantry forces without protest. He is not Dalish and says that he has never been part of the circle, claiming instead to have studied magic peacefully on his own, particularly magic tied to the Fade. While I suspect you'll be reluctant to accept the help of an apostate, Solas did come to us freely. Witnesses saw him in a nearby village at the time of the blast, so he was likely not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. However, he has described the effects of the breach in enough detail to convince me that he knows more about the Fade than anyone else present. Solas has requested permission to study the lone survivor and one of the smaller rifts. In hopes of finding a way to seal the breach, he has correctly guessed that it is growing, and believes it will destroy the entire world unless we find a way to stop it. Unless you object, I will allow him his studies, under proper observation, of course. Leilani. Oh, and by the way, guys, my volume, my audio is going to be shifting as I try to adjust settings as I record. Uh, my 
sadly, my computer is having problems anyways, but I think with this new mic, I can offset enough of it. Also, I live in a house that has a lot of echo. We're going to actually end up putting sound panels up or something at some point. So, Varric Tethros, there's a power in stories. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last, might as well be mine. Varric Tethros of the Dwarven Merchants Guild of Kirkwall is famous or infamous for two things, his books and his association with the champion of Kirkwall. After the Templars and Circles broke away from the Chantry, Divine Justini V sent her agents to Kirkwall, where the roots of the war began, in search of answers. The champion had long since disappeared, but Varric had written a book on his friend's involvement in the destruction of the Kirkwall Chantry, and the left and right hands of the Divine located him with surprising ease. They captured and interrogated him, then brought him to the Conclave to give his testimony to the Divine in person, but fate decreed that he would never meet her. I guess we do have a tutorial, honestly. I'm not one to really go through tutorials, guys, so we'll skip that. We'll skip that out. All right, so we don't have a map at the, at the moment, do we? Nope. Didn't mean to do that. That was not on purpose. I'm just flailing around, evidently. Oh, wait, here we go. That's right. Here's the map. Oh, okay. So let's look around here, see if we can find anything. I wish I had a torch or something that would be really bright because the Whisper has really bad color vision anyways. And in real life, I have good night vision, but obviously that doesn't translate into a computer game. No, we're still not seeing anything. Anything cool up here, guys? Anything cool? I love the graphics, though, guys. I have to say, the PS4 rock in the graphics. All right, let's go on up here, see what we can find. Oh, let's see. Can I steal anything? Is there looting capabilities? Nope. Okay, let's go on down. Let's take care of this, guys. Let's... Oh, it's kind of creepy looking, though. I wonder if we're going to meet any dwarves, other than Varric, of course. All right, guys. Still not seeing nothing. I'm running back and forth wildly. Okay, we'll keep going. This is new for me. Normally, I just jet right through, but I really do enjoy these games, and I'm really trying to take a more methodical approach because I'm enjoying it. There's no re need to rush. It's not going to lessen how many games I play. Ooh, hey, loot team time. Thank you. All right, we're looting everything, guys. Yeah, take it all. Why do you even ask? Just take it all. Ooh, I should at some point. Ooh. Excellent. Come on, can I see anything else? No? Are we done? Nothing else in here? Oh, when I do get the new computer, though, I have a couple of survival horror games I want to play, like the sequel to Amnesia. All right, what are we doing here? We got anything cool, guys? Okay, guys, I kind of searched around in there, didn't find anything. I'm going to try to learn also when to kind of be quiet so I can cut things. Oh, hey, how you guys doing? Okay, the combat is actually pretty good. It's pretty intuitive. But um, I just watched Yahtzee's review of Dragon Age, and I have to agree with him. He said, you know, it's a nice combat system, knife crafting system, etc., etc. Nah, throw it away. That's kind of how I play. I am not good at the crafting. I'm not really a... Somebody who likes to take time. I'm learning to do it in Minecraft, but you kind of have to do it in Minecraft. You don't really just drop things around. So let's go take a look out here. Is there anything cool out here? Still nothing really cool. Just obviously I'll be going down at some point. Whoa, up. Wow. Kind of creepy. All right, guys, let's get going. Okay, we're hitting the outside. No loot. Yes, we found the soldiers. That cannot be all of them. So the others could be holed up ahead. Our priority must be the breach. Unless we seal it soon, no one is safe. I'm leaving that to our elven friend here. You can leave a lot of things to me, Vark. You're kind of cute. Oh, yeah. We're going to be shipping. Shipping everyone. That's usually how I try to do it. Ship everybody. All right. So we're going to go down. And when we get to something, I'll come back to you guys. Well, I guess we came to something pretty quick. So... Oh, see, the guys are still alive. That's awesome. Disrupt the rift. Disrupting it. That's right, guys. You can't stop me. I'm the master of the rift. Lady they Cassandra. call me rift. Lieutenant, you're alive. Just barely. 
Can you guys finish that so I can? Oh, they're pretty nasty looking. I mean, it's kind of funny how this is. Is um, These were so much more peaceful. Not peaceful. So much less intimidating looking. Close the fade rift. We're closing it. Oh, yeah. You can't miss my magic touch, guys. Come on. Sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's I hope know. it works on the big one. Thank the Maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. She insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... It was worth the risk. It was worth saving you. If we could, then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move! The path ahead appears to be clear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. All right, we'll hurry. Okay, fine. Down I want a little loving. That's the way to the temple. Is there anything up here before I leave? Oh, so it lets you see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's climb it on down, guys. Ooh, that was kind of awesomely badass that the Whisper never <gasps> is ne never that badass to begin with. That was kind of cool, too. So, holes in the fade don't just accidentally happen, right? If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. No, I actually meant... I'm sorry, I'm actually trying to, like, remember how to... Okay, so we're just kind of going through... I haven't gone through this yet, so... Oh, crappy crap. I'm actually just looking for the ability to, like, heal. Hello? I can't remember what button that is now. Oh, there we go. Found it. I figure I should, I figure I should drink that because I am injured a little bit, and that would be my luck. And we don't want to die in this. All right. Ooh, look at that. There's the fade, or not the fade, the, the opening. Kind of creepy looking too. I'm waiting for something to jump out at me. Hello. Come on out. The Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. Oh. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. That'd be Andraste, because Andraste loves me. She loved me last time, too. Whoa. No. Okay, I guess maybe they're not bad guys. I was thinking they were bad guys. Are you guys bad guys? You're going to become bad guys, aren't you? Oh, are they just... Oh, they're just dead people. Like, okay. I was figuring they are becoming zombies. I am so sorry, guys. So sad. Makes the whisper kind of sad. We're going to kind of search around them. Okay, that is still kind of creepy. If you look at that. That is really kind of creepy. Okay. Is there anything cool up here? Nothing special. Alrighty. Looking pretty good, though. I'm liking how this is rolling. Okay, nothing of value. Okay, so let's go in, guys. Let's do this thing. Let us do it. Okay, what are you? Uh-oh. Have your men take up positions around the temple. Mm. 
This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? Yes. Of course. Just tell me what to do. I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there? No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down. And be careful. Woohoo! Okay, guys. I'm thinking power this is, is the power of a hard tree. Uh oh. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap up this fourth Let's Play for Dragon Age. It's a good spot, a little bit, a few minutes early. I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter.